Uh, good morning and welcome to DJ Fossils and we today we are in Runswick Bay uh, it does pronounce Runswick Bay but it is a silent W for all of you out there I uh, got told by a local that it's called Runswick Bay so we're heading along over here today there's Jackie walking along as you can see it's just about to get to uh, dawn's approached and uh, Hopefully it'll be very light shortly, so we can have a good look around, and uh, hopefully we'll find some things to show you. Oh, I just found this. Somebody else had cracked it. Um, there's the outer edge there. By the looks of it, it might be a little bit okay. So I'm not sure, but the in it's the middle's all there, so we're going to take that one. It looks quite nice. I uh, just saw this, thought we'd show you. Look at all of those on there. Obviously, you can't take it. They just crumble if you try to take them off. But still, looks really nice. And Jackie just found a partial. A uh, really nice one. But unfortunately, someone had hit it and broken it. But we found a part of it, which I think is an elegantisaurus. I'm not 100% but I'm pretty sure it is, very well pyrited as well. Um, but we found the nodule it came from which is down there and she found that over there. It's a shame it got broken because it's a beautiful ammonite. Right so we found a few nodules up here and we've had tapped a few and not found anything. There's one here that somebody else has tapped, they've done that side and that side, sorry about the camera, but it could be something sat in the top here. So I'm trying to look past the camera instead of through it. Um, so um, I'm going to give that one a tap. I'd say that's a kill. No, I don't think so. And I've just found, buried it right where it is there, I saw the top edge showing, that nice beautiful cannonball. So we're going to video that now. Uh, I'm going to tap those open. I'm going to give this one a hit as well, just to see if there's anything in that top edge. Another tap on the top edge, just in case there was something hiding in that one. Nice split. No, it's definitely nothing sat in there. Oh well, no, no worries. So Jackie just found this, and obviously got her interest. So she just flipped it over, and got a whole bed of. Uh, bivalves really nice little piece so that was a good little find and um, just back there somewhere I should have videoed it we found an echinoid or a sea urchin a modern one not a fossil one at least this big just the top part though it wasn't the whole shell unfortunately or we would have kept that but if it's if I find it I'll video it and show you it on the way back because uh, we still got we won't go back all the way across there it's not lovely and raining now, but we're just having a little look along here. There's not a lot up this end, but we found in a few little bits. We just found that just down here in the stuff. We're staying away from the cliffs as much as possible. So hopefully we'll find some more bits. We did find um, a tiny piece of pyrite that's got an elegantisaurus in it, but it's probably only about a centimetre or a centimetre and a half wide elegantisaurus but it's totally pyrotized, gold pyrotized, but it's in the middle, just sticking out the top keel. So we're gonna to have to prep that to get that out because it's a tiny little piece of pyrite. So we just found these, a little tiny one with a couple of little bivalve shells preserved in pyrite. And also this little tiny nodule with a bit of a keel showing. So that's a prep at home job, that one. It's tiny, it's not gonna be, I don't wanna hit it with the hammer. So a bit water worn on that side as well, but at least it's an ammonite. 
So that's the sea urchin that I was talking about, the echinoid. Obviously it's not a fossilised one, but it's still really nice. Quite big, that's about four inches across. So unfortunately the tops, the sides aren't there, the whole thing's miss, all missing. But still nice to have a look at. We're actually heading back up there now and um, so we might find some bits on the way back, you never know. If we do, I'll let you know. Right, so uh, we found a couple of nice long belemites and a couple of tips. Nothing special. And Jackie's just found that little nodule which has got a nice little pyrotized elegantisterus on it. There's a few other little pieces there, so we'll have a look at that at home. So it won't be easy to get any of that off here. Uh, but we're pretty much done. We're nearly back at the, the uh, car park. Yeah, the other end of there. Yeah, there's some other bits of stuff showing on there. So there's a little bit of a kit uh, bit there. So, but yeah, we're gonna call it a day here today, and we'll see you on the next one. So thanks for watching. Bye for now.